Now, support structures are an integral part of how we survive in the world, and it's really important to create healthy ones. Absolutely. Now, life coach Nariman Richard, Richards is here to join us and, and, of course, share more about support systems. Now, connect with us online if you've got any questions for Nariman. All you need to do is tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Thank on Wednesdays, sir. we love to talk about health, wellness, holistic living, and of course, a lot of that goes into the people that back you, the people yes. that support you. But we throw around the term support system so frivolously these days, and everyone in is part of our clique, yeah. part of our day ones. So what is a support system and how should it look like at the core? Well, I think the, the, the core of a, a support system is really people who you can depend on, yeah. who you can, you can lean on in times of crisis. And uh, that can come in, in, in your family members. It can be your friends, close friends. Uh, oftentimes, I mean, in, in, um, in our traditional definition of support systems, I think we, we look at family. Yeah. Mm. But um, I think the modern support system um, has been expanded. Yeah. You can have a coach, you can yeah. have a mentor, you can, uh, but it's, it's ide uh, ideally it's somebody that you can depend on. Yeah. Mm. Um, when you are experiencing crisis or you in, are you in struggle. The problem is, or well not really the problem, but I think if you look at gangsterism, yes. they uh, sometimes have this brotherhood. If you look yes. at drug addicts, mm -hmm. their fellow enablers, I suppose, also become a support system. Yes. So how do you know that you necessarily have the right support system around That's you? That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, look, I, I think um, they are healthy support systems yeah. and they are unhealthy or potentially toxic support yeah. systems. I think um, if you as an individual um, are, is, a, is in healthy relationships, you will, you will know that. If you are in a toxic relationship, something will feel off. Mm. Yeah. Um, if you're getting, you re, you're getting your support from, like you say, being in a, in, in a, in a gang or, um, you know morally there's something not right here. Yeah. So I think um, the first thing to ask yourself is, is are these healthy relationships or are mm. these toxic relationships that I'm actually um, drawing on for my support? Mm. Yeah. Do you think everybody has support systems or does everybody need support systems? Because what happens to those people who really feel like they have no one to turn to when they need help? I think as human beings, we are wired for connection. Yeah. We depend on people to meet our needs. Um, so yes, we all need support systems yeah. because our life will, will, will bring us to a point of struggle at some point. A crisis may happen mm. and um, we need to know that there are people out there that we yeah. can reach out to. Um, so I don't think we can live independently mm. at all when it comes to support uh, structures. Fortunately, for some of us, we have good support structures within our families. Yeah. We don't have to go further than that. Yeah. And then, then just to add to that, I mean, support comes in, in, in various ways. Yeah. So sometimes that's an instrumental support, meaning I need someone to just um, keep an eye on my kid. Yeah. You know, and I have to go somewhere. So it's just doing something. Yeah. And you know, there's that one family member or that one friend that you can pick up the phone yeah. and say, Listen, I'm stuck, you know. I need your help. Um, and then sometimes it's emotional support. Mm. Yeah. Um, when you are in crisis emotionally or you've, you've, you've just lost your job. Yeah. You've just found out that your husband is, is going to divorce you. Or, mm. you know, it, it, we've, we have so many life uh, yeah. challenges. And, and then you, lean, you, you reach out to that friend who you know won't judge you, yeah. won't um, make you feel worse than you already feel. Yeah, like I'm just making a connection with our previous interview with yes. the Love Your Nuts guys. Yes. Like, uh, uh, and they were saying that men die from testicular cancer if they don't get it sorted out because of late detection or because they end up dying of embarrassment because they don't want to yeah. speak to people about it. Yes. So how can you encourage people within support systems uh, to, to actually lean on people for support? and accept yeah. the help sometimes and to be able to share that information in yes. order to receive the help. That's actually a very good question and, um, and I think something that listeners should, should really take heed of because I think when you are the supporter, then it's also important to know how to support people. Yeah. Because it's not about what we want, 
in that in that instance. Mm. It's about what the, the other person needs. Yeah. Because um, oftentimes our go-to is to give advice. Mm. So in the in the instance of um, a man finding out, uh, let's say that he has testicular cancer. Um, the, the support around him, which is normally obviously family, close um, mm. relations, I think they, the best thing for them to do is to, is to reach into the, themselves and, and connect with that part of them that can be empathic first. Yeah. That can not say, you know, we, we tend to, as human beings, we want to say, tell you about someone else's story or we want to talk about, mm -hmm. you know, um, because it's also vulnerable for yeah. the for supporter. Yeah. The one who's hearing the news is yeah. also feeling uncomfortable yeah. because what do I say to you and how yeah. do I do, you and, know? And it's, is the information that I'm giving you correct? Because yes. there's a responsibility in sharing yes. accurate advice. Absolutely. Thank yes. you so much for being here. Thank you for being my support system. <laughs> yeah, girl, we need each other because, you know, no, it's totally. going to be an incredible year yeah. for everyone and we need to make sure that everyone feels supported in everything that they do. But don't go anywhere because after the break we get some final thoughts from all of our incredible guests. So tune in for that.